Let's talk about the harm that secrets can do to your mental health. Because the simple truth is that hiding things from others, or even from yourself, can cause a lot of pain and suffering. But you can learn how to deal with the burden of secrets and finally set yourself free. So today I'm going to show you how to deal with secrets in a healthy way. So let's talk. Secrets can do a lot of harm to your mental health. Feeling like you have to keep something about yourself a secret or suppressing some aspect of who you are hurts you a lot more than it helps. Your secrets may seem like they're tucked away safely, but they're taking up precious space in your mind and they affect your mental peace a lot more than you might think. What's the harm in keeping secrets? In simple terms, a secret is anything you're actively keeping under wraps. It might be something small, like pretending you love your friend's cooking when you really don't. Or something bigger and more personal. But here's the catch. Even the little secrets add up. And before you know it, your secrets can start weighing on your mind like a backpack full of rocks. Secrets tend to go hand in hand with guilt, fear and shame. When you give yourself permission to speak your truth and finally say what needs to be said, you can begin to set yourself free from the burden of keeping secrets. I'm not talking about keeping your mouth shut when someone confides in you because that's just doing the right thing. I'm talking about those things you hide away out of embarrassment, remorse or fear. Letting go of your secrets is an opportunity to find true peace of mind. So let's talk about releasing the burden of secrets. Opening up is like a breath of fresh air. Instead of weighing yourself down with secrets, letting go helps you to feel freer and lighter. Think of it this way. Every secret you let go of frees up some of your mental space. Talking about things, even if it's scary at first, can significantly lighten your emotional load and lead to healthier, more genuine connections with the people around you. So now let's talk about how to stop feeling trapped by your secrets. Tip 1. Have a good look within. The first thing to do is to admit to yourself what you're keeping secret and, more importantly, why you're keeping it secret. It's about taking time to really look at what's going on inside your head and that requires you to be completely honest with yourself. Try writing down your thoughts in a journal or spend some quiet time reflecting. It might also help to talk with a professional like a counsellor or therapist. Going within and being honest with yourself helps you to clearly see what's actually there so that you know where you need to start. Tip 2. Consider the pros and cons. Think about how this secret is affecting you. Is it making you anxious? Is it getting in the way of your relationships? Does it make you feel like you're not being true to yourself? Understanding the impact of keeping the secret can help you see why it might help to open up about it. Tip 3. Plan your approach. If you decide you want to share your secret, don't feel like you have to just blurt it out. That can make it seem even scarier than it needs to be, and it can quickly make you want to run and hide. Give yourself some time to plan how you want to go about it. Think about the right time and place and consider how you're going to say it. It's like planning a difficult conversation. Yes, it's a bit daunting, but it's much more effective when you have a plan and it usually goes far better because you feel prepared. Tip 4. Look forward, not back. Your eyes face forward for a reason, because that's the direction you're heading in life. Constantly looking back over your shoulder at the past isn't going to do anything other than keep you stuck in the past. Focus on how much better you'll feel after sharing your secret. Imagine the relief, the weight off your shoulders, the sense of true freedom and empowerment. This can give you the push you need to actually go through with it. Tip 5. Don't rush, but don't dawdle either. When it comes to sharing your secrets, you need to find the time that feels right to you. But don't wait for forever. Having this thing hanging over your head can create a lot of additional anxiety and stress. Give yourself a deadline and stick to it, so it doesn't remain hanging over you indefinitely. The longer you wait, the harder it gets. Once it's done, it's done. Here's the thing. Letting go of secrets can be like opening a window in a stuffy room. It's not just about unburdening yourself, it's about making room for more honest and open relationships with other people and with yourself. 
Remember, you're not alone in this. Whether it's friends, family, or a professional, there's support out there. You've got this. If this video was helpful, please give it a like, and you can listen to me talk about secrets and other topics in the Let's Talk About Mental Health podcast, available wherever you get your podcasts. There's a link to it in the description, or head to ltamh.com. Thanks for joining me today, and talk to you next time. Thank you to my Patreon supporters. Join now for early episode access and ad-free content. You'll find a link to it in the episode description.